This one about the cash flow crisis at the museum is really an exercise in idioms. So the first idiom we'll look at is this one, depends on if or depends on whether. On the GMAT, depends on if is always going to be wrong and depends on whether is going to be correct. Whenever we're talking about a choice and we're either contemplating this choice, hoping, wondering, we know it or don't know it, all that, the choice has to be expressed in terms of whether. In ordinary speech, we might say, I don't know if I am going to go, but that, on the GMAT, that's incorrect. We'd have to say, I don't know whether I would go. So the if is wrong and the whether is correct. Now C also has a whether, but it has this curious phrase, whether or not. Whether or not is always redundant. If we're using the word whether, we're talking about a choice. We're talking about either I don't know whether A will happen. We're saying maybe A will happen, maybe it won't happen. Whether or not, the or not adds no new information to the sentence at all. It adds zero information. And then I love this next phrase. It has the capability to. Has the capability to. In other words, can. So if we take a three-letter word and replace it with a huge honking phrase, do you think that's really going to be correct on the GMAT? C is just an absolute disaster. So get rid of C. Now D and E, they change the tact. Instead of talking about whether, they're talking about depend on its ability. But here we get to another idiom. If we compare its ability to do something, its ability for doing something, the correct idiom is to follow ability by the infinitive. The ability to do something and the ability for doing something is incorrect. And that's exactly what we have in D. It's ability for broadening. So idiomatically, that is incorrect. E does have the infinitive, the ability to broaden. But think about this, the ability for it to broaden, as opposed to its ability to broaden. So this is very indirect and wordy. So this one doesn't work. B has no grammatical mistakes. It is sleek, efficient, and succinct, and it is by far the strongest answer.